we think inflation is going to stay for a while. So we've had to adapt. So we've both reduced our expenses, raised prices, and changed the way we invest. But I'd like to think of inflation, it's almost like the pig going through a python. You know, the python's the economy. It swallows the pig. It takes a long time for it to get through there. So as you point out, what happened, you got chip shortages. There's uh, new cars, not as many new cars being built. A lot of money in the economy. Used car prices are up 40%. Uh, and, uh, and then it costs more to fix them, and then so we have to raise our prices. Same thing happens to housing, same thing happens to oil, and next thing you know, people are increasing their wages because they don't have enough money to live on. So we think it takes a while to go through the economy. Uh, Tom, great to see you. Also, that analogy probably made my day, uh, the pig and the python. So I guess the question is, um, how high do you have to increase your rates to offset this sort of slow-moving, very large inflation impact? Well, um, so far, we're up 6.5% in the last six months, and we think we'll have to go up higher from there. And, of course, the reason is because if your car used to be worth $20,000 and now it's worth $28,000 and it gets wrecked or we need to fix it, we have to charge more money. Uh, we have to pay more money to get it fixed, uh, and we, we, can't <clears throat> we have to find a way to recover those costs. Do you think some of your competitors are going to continue to raise prices? I'm just wondering kind of <clears throat> how much switching you're going to see, how competitive the market is in ter terms of people shopping around. People are shopping around for everything right now, Tom. It it's groceries, yes. it's gasoline, it's everything. How do you see that working out? Uh, I think, well, first, our, everybody's got the same issue. Uh, all the uh, auto insurers, even the home insurers, same thing. Not as bad as in cars, but uh, in automobiles, prices are going up. Everybody's raising up. People will shop more, which is why we built what we call transformative growth, which is really trying to build a digital insurer on top of what's an analog company that we digitize. So we're trying to reduce our expenses. We have a product called MileWise where... Um, if you don't drive much, so if you drive less than 10,000 miles, you should be buying mile-wise. Pay for it by the mile, not by the month. 